Bitcoin, Ethereum, cryptography, blockchain, hash, and decentralized currency. If you haven't learned about these things, cryptocurrency probably seems confusing or fake. But it's real and complex. It's made from a blend of computer networking, sciences, and technology. Cryptocurrency is a decentralized digital currency that's not authorized by central banks or government, but instead it's secured by technology. And while there are no physical bills or coins, it was designed to be used as currency like dollars and euros. However, right now, it's not a widespread currency. Most people or countries aren't using it to buy goods, but instead as an investment or a job for people who work inside their computer network. So how does cryptocurrency work and what will the future look like? I am Dr. Eric Obusu, an assistant professor at SUNY Blackboard. I specialize in human-computer interaction, e-commerce, cybersecurity, and information systems. And in all these subjects, we are integrating knowledge of cryptocurrency. Let's break it down. First, it starts with networking, which establishes a system for communication for transaction purposes. Cryptocurrency works because of two forms of technology, cryptography and blockchain. Cryptography is a series of coding and algorithms that essentially create a security system, while blockchain technology is distributed database. Together, they form the chain network. To help you imagine it, think of it like the postal service, but for digital assets. If you want to send cryptocurrency to someone, you will need to have it inside a package. That packaging is what we call block in blockchain. In order for the package to move, there is specific information that needs to be included and verified. Just like in the mail, there is the address of the sender, receiver, and details about what is inside. In blockchain, this information is known as hash, a unique identifier number and each block contains its own hash, as well as the hashing value from the previous block. In order for the transaction to happen, this information needs to be verified. A miner does that. Each miner in a network is someone operating a powerful computer that has its own copy of an identical ledger, which is essentially a spreadsheet with all transactions, including who sent what to whom. For a transaction to occur, a majority of all miners must agree that the information is correct, matching their ledger copy. So this is where it's different from the postal service. Imagine if a majority of all postal workers had to scan and verify one package before it's shipped. That would take a long time. Miners are consistently running their computers to cut down the time it takes to verify a transaction. In a nutshell, Cryptocurrencies are digital currencies that use blockchain technology to record and secure every transaction. But in order to talk about the future of cryptocurrency, we need to understand the benefits and downside of its widespread adoption. One benefit is its decentralized nature due to the blockchain. That adds an extra layer of security in addition to the cryptography. However, a downside of that same process is that mining cryptocurrency takes a long of energy consumption and generates a significant amount of electronic waste. It's bad for the environment, contributing to global warming. In fact, Bitcoin specifically uses more energy than a lot of countries. According to the New York Times, if it was a country, it would be in the top 30 countries for energy consumption, just above Argentina. Another big concern is how inconsistent cryptocurrency values are. There are crashes and sky-high gains in the price history of many coins. In 2017, Bitcoin started trading below $1,000, and by the end of the year, it traded around $20,000. Then in 2018, the coin crashed over 80%. In 2021, it hit a new high. One Bitcoin was valued at $68,000. Why would a consumer want to spend cryptocurrency if the amount they spend today could be worth so much more tomorrow? There is a famous story about a man who spent 10,000 bitcoins in 2010 to buy two pizzas. Back then, those coins were only worth $40 in total, but if he had kept them, he would be widely rich today. During bitcoin's top value in 2021, those pizzas cost nearly $700 million. On the flip side, its volatile nature is why people are investing. It's a gamble. In my opinion, 
Until proper security, government regulations and educations are in place, there will be serious problems with using cryptocurrency as a form of payment or exchange. It's important to remember that whenever there are new systems, some people will be skeptical, while others will jump to adopt it just because it's new. My advice will be if you adapt this form of transaction, that should require informed decision making and consistent education to understand the process, risks and rewards of cryptocurrency. Because the return on investment is not 100% guaranteed. Looking forward, I think there are three problems that will need to be solved. One, how can I create a better security system for electronic transaction and digital assets? Two, how can we as researchers find a greener solution to decrease energy consumption and electronic waste? And lastly, how will individuals and institutions navigate the regulatory regs? If you are interested in learning more about cryptography, blockchain and cryptocurrency, check out the Department of Computing Sciences at SUNY Blackboard.